Don't watch that. Watch this. Well, what do you mean by this? Oh, well, this is my channel. Welcome to it. And if you guys do really enjoy it, you can go in, you can click the share button. That really, really helps the algorithm go to Twitter, Facebook, Blogger. I don't even know what the crap that is. Reddit, all the stuff. So if you do love that, we also have a join button. You go in, you click a little join button. Four ninety nine a month, you get all the cool, awesome emojis. Now, enjoy the video. Well, I was looking forward to Doctor Strange 2. Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube Harpy. I actually really liked Doctor Strange. He was probably, his movie at least, was probably my favorite of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Just because it was so weird and trippy and it was one of those, uh, if you're in the right frame of mind, you're gonna enjoy the crap out of that movie. And, you know, I'm, as you guys know, I'm the Star Trek, Babylon 5, Doctor Who sort of, sort of Red Dwarf person coming into the Marvel stuff because Star Wars and Star Trek and all the things that I like are either gone or destroyed. Thanks so much, JJ. You can stop me, I'm a Jedi from Jakku. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> see, see? Just like that with Star Wars. They ruined that. Well, luckily, with Star Wars, at least, we have Baby Yoda doing the most adorable stuff ever. Baby, do the magic hand thing. Come on, baby. Do the magic hand thing. Aww. I'm out of ideas. Aww, Baby Yoda magic hands. You know... Why can't we just have a Baby Yoda, Baby Groot crossover? I know, I know, it's dumb and it would be not in the same universe, but hey, Disney owns everything. Why not at this point? Why not? Because they've ruined Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange 2, director exits after creative differences with Marvel. See, this is the one I was looking forward to. Out of all of the Phase 4 stuff, this was the one. I'm like, ooh, ooh, interesting. They're doing something different with this. The plan director for Doctor Strange, Scott Derrickson, has dropped out due to creative differences. Creative di that that's code for we don't want to like we we don't want to trash the other guy because basically we had some disagreement on set about something something usually not creative at all but something where the studio wanted to insert one thing and we all know how well that turned out with Star Wars, don't we? Yeah, it turned into basically Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. You know, the Studio Notes version of Star Wars. Hopefully, hopefully we're not going to get that with Doctor Strange because, you know, every time they change directors midway, that's such a great decision, isn't it? That, that works so well for Han Solo. I mean, Solo lost how much? $80 million for the Solo movie? Maybe Marvel will get their crap together a little better than Star Wars, but it's still Disney at the end of the day, isn't it? At, at least Kevin Feige has a much better track record of giving the fans what they want, so I'm less concerned there, but come on, don't ruin Doctor Strange now. He was the best one, at least in my opinion. The planned director of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Scott Derrickson, has dropped out of Marvel's upcoming sequel film. Although the movie isn't set to release until 2021, Benedict Cumberbatch's previous portrayal as Doctor Strange was enjoyable enough that many fans have been looking forward to this character's next solo film with much anticipation. Me! Me! I was! I was! And people are always like, oh, you're so negative, you hate everything! No, I don't! <laughs> I don't, actually. It's just the stuff I like doesn't get a lot of views. Citing his inclusion in both Infinity War and, to a lesser extent, Endgame as some of the more visually entertaining parts of those movies. Well, the character was cool, too. I like his character a lot more than I liked. Sorry, sorry, Robert Downey Jr. I enjoyed his character a lot more than Iron Man, even though they're kind of they're kind of similar in attitude very much. And there's nothing wrong with it. I really, really liked him in Infinity War, too. Like, Doctor Strange saved Infinity War for me. Not as big a fan as Endgame as I think a lot of people. That one hasn't really done it for me over, over you know, in post-processing. Because a lot of the time, I'll watch a movie, I'll like it just fine, and then I'll have to think about it. And Endgame is one of those that's kind of gone down on my list of enjoyable Marvel movies. And Infinity War has gone up a little bit because that one seemed a little bit more important. That had so many more, so much more stakes. And you had Doctor Strange, who I really, really liked. 
rumored to feature a Marvel Comics character the studios always wanted to use and somehow tie into the upcoming Disney Plus series Loki. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is surely a massive film to both oversee and direct, especially since Marvel likely has additional plans for how certain plot points should dictate future events in their cinematic universe. If Marvel's blueprint for their Phase 4 films is anything like their previous ones, there is surely an overarching endgame, no pun intended, that the studio is aiming for. Not not everyone will agree on how to get there, though. According to the director himself, uh, he's stepping down with creative differences. You can read, this, read his post here. I am thankful for our collaboration and will remain on as EP. Executive producer, probably. So he gets a producer credit because he did work on the darn thing. In a statement to Variety, a spokesperson for Marvel Studios said the company was amicably, amicably parting ways with Derrickson due to creative differences, but they remain grateful. So they don't want to burn any bridges, clearly. We don't want to, we don't want to just throw the guy under the bus and they, he doesn't want to throw them under the bus yet, 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 because there's nothing really that's come out about this one yet that is so completely disturbing. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not like the whole J.J. Abrams Star Wars situation. Thankfully, since filming hasn't started yet, there's no reason for the release the Derrickson cut trend to start yet. All right, well, even you know, even if they haven't started filming, even if they really haven't f started filming, it's still not a good sign to be axing directors all the time. I mean, this is the same crap that we saw in Star Wars, isn't it? And I know, oh yeah, creative differences, creative differences. But here we go. And again, it made it less exciting. It looks as though Doctor Strange 2 is pivoting away from the horror genre. So this is what we're hearing and this is why I'm like, oh, mm, oh, you could have done something different. You could have gone more the horror direction. They still could have left it a PG-13 because I don't think you need full-on R-rated gore horror in a Marvel movie especially, but they could have left it a little creepier. They could have left it a little scarier. They could have left it a little darker. They could have gone more like that. There's some moments in Aquaman that were really kind of creepy and dark, but of course you did have the Conjuring director behind that one. This is why I was partly excited for this one because bringing some of these more visually creative people on board with this stuff. Some of, the, some of these people who can kind of come in from the horror genre that aren't going to just give you the big CGI fight battle at the end that's going to look and feel like every other one. You know, as much as Aquaman kind of did with his horror director, it did still kind of feel like that. It still had moments that were different for me, and I really enjoyed that one. Plus, you know, Jason Momoa, you know, with the shirt off. What can I say? What can I say? And I'm sure there's a lot of women who want to see Ben in a Cumberbatch with his shirt off, too. Another reason why this one will probably do pretty well, because a lot of women find him very attractive. And that's okay. It is perfectly okay in this day and age to be attracted to people in movies. <sighs> like It's like that's a bad thing. You know, they gotta throw people like Brie Larson all over the place in these things. I just see people, and I just play people. I didn't play Captain Marvel because I wanted to be a hero. I just wanted to be a person. So, yeah, we get it. You're not a real person. Got it. But this is the problem. Oh, we needed this. But this, it's, it's okay. There's one more to go through here. This is funny. Dr. Strange writer jokes. He and director are leaving Marvel for cats, too. I had to throw this one on here, too, because... We all know how well Cats did at the box office, needing that last minute patch to improve the CGI that didn't make it to theaters, not that it really improved that one that much either. I didn't see it. I, I just couldn't. I can't get into a lot of these musicals, especially the Andrew Lloyd Webber ones. But hey, but hey, why not? Why not give us a full on horror movie version of Cats? It can't be any worse than what we got. Uh, so tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. I am disappointed. Hopefully they'll get their crap together and give us a good Doctor Strange too. I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. That's like... One of the perks of being a Jedi is you get to build your own lightsaber. <laughs> Crazy. I was like, what? I just have things coming out of my hands. Like, I need a lightsaber. <laughs> you turn me into a newt. A newt. We got better.
Burn already! Uh oh. That's just what they'll be expecting us to do.